Hi, I'm Sean, and I'm one of the creators of Hollow Player One. I describe the Hollow Player One as the world's first interactive light field development kit. We view this as potentially a big leap forward in how people interact with three dimensional content. Hollow Player One is a light field that is aerialized or re imaged above a beam splitter or a piece of glass. And that different, that's different than a hologram in that we're not creating an interference pattern to generate the three-dimensional views. Um, we actually have a lenticular overlay on top of, in the case of Hollow Player One, the development kit, a 2K screen. We split that 2K screen into 32 different views. Uh, what that means, it, by analogy, is if in VR you have two views, that change as you look around a scene in order to allow groups of people to see and interact with those same scenes without headgear we blast out nearly three dozen views at a time and your eyes kind of intercept those views that are spilling out of the system into space the second thing we do is we then re-image that original super stereoscopic screen into free space over the beam splitter um, that then uh, you can, allows you to reach through the uh, original screen and then we overlay uh, interaction layer with the RealSense camera that's built into all of the Hollow Player Ones. We register the interactions with Hollow Player One with an integrated RealSense depth camera and this is built into all of the applications via our Unity Hollow Play SDK. Uh, what happens is we track your fingers over top of the Hollow Player One, and that tracking is then fed into the application um, and allows you to manipulate and interact directly with that floating three dimensional scene. Critically, what Hollow Player One does, which, say, a volumetric display, which we worked on before, um, can't do, is it creates a directly interactive viewer independent coordinate system. And I know that sounds very nerdy, uh, but it's important um, for a new directly interactive three-dimensional interface. Um, if I touch a spot on a three-dimensional scene, let's say the front of an X-Wing floating over the Hollow Player One, um, my buddy sitting next to me looking over my shoulder sees my finger coincident with the same tip of that X-Wing that I see. And that means we can have a shared experience for how we're interacting with that floating three-dimensional scene without headgear, no head tracking, so it's, the scene is stable, um, just finger tracking. So Hollow Player One is a development kit. It's not a system that's going to be sold at Best Buy um, in this current generation. Uh, it connects up to either a Mac within the, Macs within the last few years or a PC. Um, that has any sort of graphics card can run Hollow Player One. Being the first in this new class of interface uh, is really just the first step. It won't always be a little black box uh, that kind of looks like a bird. Um, very soon, in the next few years, I believe that this technology will be incorporated into the walls of people's homes and schools, into desks. Um, so that holographic, holographic information or light field information more accurately is spilled out into your environment and able to be directly interacted with, um, again, without headgear. So uh, I believe it has a shot at being a defining ambient three-dimensional interface that really helps people create in three dimensions and communicate in three dimensions in their everyday lives. So Hollow Player One, we are hoping, creates a third branch of a third industry that connects the real world with 3D digital space. The first two branches, everyone's very aware of. VR, where you gear up and you leave the real world and you go fully into three dimensional space. And in a sense, I believe it's isolating, although it is a powerful immersive experience. It's also very high friction. It takes a long time to get into that world. 
Um, there's AR, which halfway in between the real world and 3D digital space, but there's still this high friction moment where you have to gear up. Um, and then there's this third class of interface that connects these two worlds. Um, and Hollow Player One, we believe, will be one of the first uh, systems that folks can get their hands on in non-headgear holographic or light field interfaces. So the, the critical defining factor is you don't have to put anything on your head to start to create and use applications in Hollow Player One. The applications that first jump to mind, although these are guesses, we don't know what will be the, um, the first real anchor or killer apps in this interface, but some guesses are things like Skype, um, hollow Skype, where you can feel closer to the people you're talking with because they appear as if they're in the room with you and more present. Uh, another example is uh, we believe in a few years these will be used at Pixar and Autodesk and other big companies where there are a lot of folks that are designing either characters or models in 3D and something like Hollow Player One will augment or facilitate their workflow because they can use their 2D screen in order to um, do fine detailed work on a two-dimensional interface, but then when they want to say grab lights around a character for a new Pixar short, or grab rocket parts for the next rocket that's gonna go um, to the space station, that can be done directly in the way that really it, <clears throat> really it should be in a three-dimensional interface than using a two-dimensional mouse <clears throat> on a two-dimensional screen. So other applications that come up a lot are in medicine, having folks uh, pu pull in CT scan, MRI, 4D ultrasound, and having that data directly viewable and manipulatable um, in three dimensions. You can imagine a doctor's office a few years from now um, will have a floating scan of, let's say, your knee that's gonna get surgery, and she'll be able to cross-section it directly in front of you to show you, you know, what's happening inside of that CAT scan instead of going slide by slide and giving you the CD full of individual slices, which is how they do it now.